Turkey Plains and RC here are operating at 2.4 gigahertz and got none other than good old Diet Dew here with me today. All right, so let me go ahead and give you guys some updates here on this uh, mystery ship that I have been working on. Now, uh, one of the things that I did on the mystery ship as far as the, um, we're going to talk about the fuselage today. Uh, on the fuselage, what I more or less did was I created an extended, you know, much longer mini power pod as to serve as the basis for the, the actual fuselage frame itself. And then once I had got that constructed to length, uh, approximately, I went ahead and followed the guidelines on the, the, the sketches that I had to go ahead and make my formers um, and install those on the power pod itself. So as you can see here in some of these pictures, this is more or less what I've done, create a large power pod and then attach my formers in the appropriate places for that. Now on those formers is where the actual outer skin is gonna go ahead and get applied. All right, and here is the fuselage in its current state. Of course, I have the motor right here and the ESC mounted on the, on the uh, former there. There is going to be another former that's going to go around uh, where the motor location is, but that'll probably be one of the last steps I do. Um, of course, your wires are routed in through here um, for the motor and the battery connector. Now, um, once it comes time to attach the wing, um, this will, of course, be kind of cut out a little bit and allow me access to the battery connector. So it's it's okay that it's closed right now. Um, and this is, of course, the um, the foam board skin that I'm applying to around each former. Um, as you can see, some went on a little bit better than others. Um, and to me, that was probably one of the hardest parts of the build, was trying to get the, the skins to size and getting them cut and, and getting them on there and everything. Uh, this section right here is going to be where the cockpit area is. So, of course, the skin will not wrap all the way around those formers. It will, of course, be open at the top. And I figured this would be a good place to put the receiver. Uh, as you can see, as you can see, I've already got the, um, the servo wires kind of already met up at this particular uh, point here. So, anyways, that's where the receiver is going to go. And also, where, of course, the cockpit and everything is going to be. Um, and probably will be the central point, too, of where the wing is, is attached. Um, kind of pan on down here. You can see the, um, some of the other uh, fuselage skins that uh, I applied on the rear section of the tail, or on the, the rear section of the fuselage. And, of course, this is where the uh, actual tail fins are going to go. Um, the top one, top push rod here is going to be for the rudder. And then, of course, this one down here for the elevator. Now, on this on this right here, what I actually did was I cut um, I cut a bevel, basically where that former starts. I cut a bevel on the the power pod, and then um, to where those kind of fold in. So there's a bevel on both sides to the point where they actually kind of fold in, much like a triangle. And then, of course, I cut the bottom the bottom of that here to to sides for that. And then, of course, cut my slits there for the, um, cut my slits there for the, uh, where the elevator's going to go. So that's basically how I did that right there. And, um, basically all that's left right here is just to go ahead and get the tail section, uh, added on. And then get my last little skin piece to kind of go around that. And then, of course, attach my, uh, linkages and everything like that, too. So that's where we're at right now with the Mystery Ship Fuselage. Um... I think it's, I think at first I was really kind of, uh, just kind of uh, unsure what was going to happen. And this is what I ended up with. And I think I'm actually pretty happy with the way this turned out. Um, I think it turned out, turned out to be pretty decent. So, um, but I'm at the point now where there's just only a few more major steps really left to do on the fuselage. And then I can start attaching the wing and then start doing some other stuff. So, uh, and again, uh, if you guys have any questions, on this particular build or anything, please let me know. And that's all for me. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.